Industry disruption is a tale as old as time. Once there were two owners of delivery services that used horses to transport goods. The first, John, had been in the business for over a decade and he knew the ins and outs of horse-drawn carriages. As an expert, he was reluctant to change his ways as automobiles began to emerge. The second business owner, Sarah, saw the potential in the new technology and decided to invest in automobiles for her business. You already know where this is going. As time went on, Sarah's business grew rapidly while John's declined. Customers were drawn to the speed and efficiency of Sarah's automobile deliveries. Sarah was able to transport more goods in less time. She was able to do more with less while John's business declined and eventually he had to close shop. It also became more difficult for John to find work. His knowledge of horse-drawn carriages became obsolete. This deceptively simple story has three timeless principles hidden within it. And this video will parallel the automobile revolution to the AI revolution that's happening right now as you're watching this video, as I'm filming this video. We'll discuss these three timeless principles that you can use to filter out the noise and the signal in the AI revolution. My name is Dan. I have a decade's worth of software engineering experience. I'm currently working full time at an artificial intelligence startup working in the real estate space. When I'm not working on that startup, I'm working to build my own. I spend almost all my free time indie hacking and building software. Right now, I'm in the process of becoming Sarah. I've just finished building a GPT-powered Notion auto-tweeting application. This application automatically generates and sends tweets. All I do is curate the tweets by rejecting or approving them. I built this in less than eight hours total and I built the whole thing here on YouTube in public. Feel free to check out those videos if you're interested to see what you can do with the new AI technology that's coming out now. These three principles is what helped me to learn, build, and share these new AI technologies. If you use these principles the right way, they'll point you to what you should be focusing on and what you should be ignoring. With the rise of AI-generated content, we're going to see a lot of noise. So being principled is key. Run in, not out. This is a fire sale, not a fire. Disruption favors flexible, fast-moving risk takers. Sarah took a risk in adopting this new technology. That risk and the flexibility of her business is what led to the positive upside she received by joining the automobile revolution early. To succeed with AI, you need to be running into these technologies. If you've clicked on this video, you've already heard them all. ChatGPT, Llama, GPT-3, GPT-4, ChatGPT plugins, Bard, freaking Bing, Dolly, Midjourney, the list goes on and on and on. I want you to imagine this right now. You don't wanna be the guy in the forest cutting down trees to build his home with an ax while everyone around you is using chainsaws. That brings us to principle two, more with less. Sarah was able to do more by adopting the new technologies available to her quickly. The speed in which you adopt these new technologies will elongate the gap between you and the time it takes for everyone else to catch up. When you adopt matters. If you spot a tool or technology that allows you to do more with less, allows you to create more with less time, allows you to generate more output with less input, you found a lever. When you activate this lever, it gives you more than the guy standing next to you pulling the same type of lever. The only difference is your lever has 10 times the output. As you're running in and looking through AI technologies, Focus on the tools and the technology that allows you to do more with less. 30 minutes of work in, two hours of output. Five lines of text, created a whole blog. Four code completions, four functions written. Run a single script, scaffold an entire application. These are just a few examples of scaling your impact and focusing on doing more with less. This single principle can take you to the moon and beyond. During the noise of the AI boom, focus on tools, technology, and ideas that allow you to do more with less. A lot of the AI technology coming out right now is just a bunch of UI wrappers around ChatGPT. And although that's fantastic and there's value in that, it's not gonna allow you to do a ton more with less the big winners will emerge. Focus on this principle and you'll know when these winners emerge. Bet on always. People always want better, 
faster, cheaper, social, connecting, engaging products. These are things you can place massive bets on. So as the slew of AI technology comes out, focus on not just getting more with less, but focus on the fundamental human value behind the technology or tool. Here are some more examples. People always want lower prices. People always want faster solutions. People always want more control. People always want additional comfort. People always want entertainment. People always want less collateral damage, less risk. People always want social status. People always want confidence and trust. The AI industry is blowing up right now and it can be really hard to stay focused and not get super nervous and worried about job security, about what to build next, about what tools are important, about what tools aren't. But I'm hoping that by engaging with these three principles, you have an edge and you can think and be more like a Sarah versus a John. Run in, not out. More with less bet on always. I just want to leave you with these final thoughts. Remember that in every technological disruption, there are people who resist. There are people who don't want to move forward. There are people who don't want the change because why? Because the disruption disrupts them. It disrupts their comfortable, continuous habits, their way of life, their expertise. And remember, just like John, understood everything about horse carriages. He was the expert. None of that mattered during the automobile revolution. Beware of turning into an old dog that can't learn new tricks, especially in the software industry. I really like this format where I build in public, I write every line of code from scratch, and I post it on YouTube. You guys can see all of it. You can see the whole journey. And then I cap it off with a video like this, where I talk about what we've built, where I kind of you know, make it relevant to the overall narrative of the software industry to help you level set the things you might be building or thinking or learning with what someone else might be building. I am 300% all in on AI technology. My plan is to become an AI engineer and I want to take you along the journey with me. With all of his knowledge, John was disrupted. Sarah was a disruptor. Remember when you're feeling that sense of resistance to new things, Ask yourself, do I want to be a Sarah or do I want to be a John? Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, stay focused, keep building, and I'll see you in the next one.